how, how do you approach the first day back after a day off? Uh, we have a plan. It's not like we just decided that. I mean, it's been built in. It was a day off, so just back to work as much as anything. We had situational football in the stadium. We have other stuff to install, our packages still. We have stuff to put in. We have to look at different players still. So there's so much to do. It's back to the grind. Um, every training camp day matters, and uh, this one matters. Sorry to hear about Darren Greg. Yeah. I, I talked to Stoke about him. What, what stuck out to you about him as a man, as a coach? Oh, everything. It's one of the best men you have a chance to be around. Um, I don't have to look at everybody's message on what they're saying about it. We're all saying the same thing. Uh, every day we work together. He loved it. Beyond that, uh, my son's going to say the same thing about him. He touched a lot of people. We go all the way back to, you know, right after his Western Kentucky days. Uh, I think when the first time we came in contact with each other, I was the second co dairy coach at Tennessee. And, uh, and Drake was on the staff at Georgia, so early 90s. Think about that. And, uh, again, great recruiter, great coach, great man. Uh, you know, there's some good guys out there. You know, when we leave this earth, you won't, I know what everyone will be, you just hope that, that Drake can hear what everybody's saying about him because he touched so many lives. Are you going to be able to make it to him? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. We'll, uh, we're waiting to see when the, of course, the service will be, but uh, there's quite a few of us to be heading over. Well, I mean, he, he's had a big role since he's been here. Uh, he coached the safeties, but he's a passing game coordinator. We have a lot of history together, so uh, he knows exactly what we're going to do in situations, how we're going to handle situations. Again, I was just talking earlier, we've been together, you know, since the early 2000s. And then, so it's not a situation we haven't been through. And uh, I think he's great for young guys that need to know how to play, how to be a man. and. Uh, you know, as, as a coach, I can teach them an awful lot, I feel like. Uh, but I haven't played the game at a high level like Coach Bird has. He, can, he also has that added dimension of, you know, my pitcher, uh, my name is up, you know, Old San Diego Chargers Stadium. It's up there. There's a reason for that. So listen to what I'm saying.